Greetings. Welcome to Legacy of Worlds. I am Tome Keeper Devon, and I just want to take some time to thank those who make this show possible. Hero Forge, WizKids, KP11 Studios, Foam Brain Games, and of course, Lynn Vander themselves. But now, the adventure and the stories unfold. Vecna. What is Vecna? Oh, what? What is a Vecna? Not who? I, Have you read a book? Yes, but... No, but really. You, you've been here for 20 years. I've yeah. I've not been here long enough to understand what a Vecna is. When I went back to primary school here, I learned all about the history from the Second Age to the Third Age, and... Ooh, my bear paws are gonna bloody. Bear is a frightening thing. Primary school and single. Okay. <laughs> he is coming back. Yeah, not back to plane, just... as we've talked about. Okay. That's my plane. You seem to. Oh, that's right. Uh... <laughs> it's not a backwater plane, as we've talked about. But it's not. The water is front facing. Okay, fair enough. But it is veil water. It's very good water. It's great. But tell us more about this. This vacuum. water is front vacuum? facing. Ve Vecna. You don't know of Vecna? Wait, He's from Earth. Know? Of course. I know Vecna. Well, I don't know Vecna well, personally. Know pieces of Vecna. It is a person. The is hand of Vecna, the eye of Vecna. Oh, the yes, I have heard of this. Of Vecna. I have heard of this. Yes. Okay, because this person, this this Vecna has accessed the the planes and they have been able to just they, they've used loopholes to i don't really know where i'm going yeah um, so essentially what happened was uh, he was imprisoned in a dread domain um but he was a demigod of great power and he effectively tricked some moron called ayus into uh <laughs> Going to the undying the yeah, he, Prince of Dufai, yeah. Yes, he uh, he tricked uh, Ayus into coming to his domain of dread to absorb him and become a god. But it actually worked the other way around, and so Vecna absorbed Ayus and then was in a transitive state between demigod and full deity, and so was able to gate themselves into Sigil and then ascend into godhood. Mm -hmm which allowed a god to enter Sigil. Yep. And then the Lady of Pain had to use all of her power to basically keep him from doing things while eventually people were able to go in and, and get rid of him. Uh, upon which he then became a minor deity and has continued to cause problems. That uh, absorbed Ayus? Ayus was then released after uh, they... Oh, so he just remained as an end. Ayus is not done yet. No. I heard what uh, you did there. Ayus <laughs> done. Yes. Very yes. good. Uh, Very good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know a lot from behind that veil. <laughs> Shelton, all right? It was yeah. regarded that uh, while he was in there, he, he did some stuff, and mm -hmm. so the Lady of Pain had to go in and basically sweep and clean up and, and band-aid, but... She wasn't sure if she got everything. Okay. It's, is he why we have opportunity attacks? <laughs> there might be an answer to that in the scroll. 
<laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> uh, so, Becca. Um, also, generally, uh, his, his name is, is, if you were to say it, so as you say that word, the whole gastronome goes quiet for a moment. Everyone immediately looks around. As if they're looking for the lady. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, I don't, I don't slowly understand. And begins to resume. No, oh, I right. assume this is a villain of this place. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, Maybe associated with what uh, uh, these blackouts you're experiencing. And were you around in this place when somebody who'd experienced Vecna's um, shenanigans? Uh, my uncle. Um... Did you ever hear a description? Is this exactly the same thing? Oh, that's hard to say. You... Hmm. If you're if you're talking about what's currently happening, yeah, uh, like no, it. this is different. Okay, there's that, nothing. That was more. I mean, Vector's not subtle. That was no. <laughs> that was more. Uh, that was more direct. It was basically it. just. <laughs> well, I am becoming a god right. now. He rested. Uh, the power. He, he didn't right. do yeah. rotating blackouts. That's right. Okay. This this is brand new. When you were discussing how somebody could come in and do this, I consulted my cards. Oh, I've always wanted to see this. And I have a question. Well, now maybe for you too, but especially for you, Lohold. I wonder the sword, the green sword. You were mentioning that um, it is made from a material that can yes. absorb Redic steel magic. Yes. Which it is arthritic to magic. It, it it breaks the weave. Perhaps do you think that this person who came in, either on their own or was hired to come in to break through the magical wards that they said could not be broken to the orrery? Yes, that is very obvious. Is that correctly? Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So maybe this person was hired, or this person is evil themselves and is trying to steal the magic because these cards speak to me in a way that make me feel that. This person is behind not just the recent uh, disruption of my ritual, but maybe everything? Oh, yes. This makes sense. Uh, in Merrick's and Elminster, perhaps you can weigh in. I suspect, knowing that it is the Lich himself, Thank you. that he may be attempting to ascend further from lesser deity to a greater deity by absorbing this power. It must be another move to elevate his status, and it's setting it's setting the multiverse out of alignment and creating an imbalance, literally an imbalance in the multiverse, which is where we're getting these shorts. And who knows what's going to happen if for it lasts longer and this is, we're out of magic here for a while. I, I don't know what the consequences are. What, Terrible. Terrible. Yeah, catastrophic. Two, two quick questions tying uh, to this. Uh, kid, your sword, uh, it's yellow, right? Amber, yes. And there's a bunch of them, different colors, different shades, right? In Amaria, there are many blades known as the Elder Blades. They're sure. fangs of the dragons, which I guess would be the equivalency of the gods. Is there a green one? There is one. It is called because I thought the description wasn't just it was a green sword. It was a green sword that looked like your sword. It was. It was a green sword that was not what you would expect them to. It wasn't just like a blade. It was okay, like, so I'm going to be okay. like particularly crafted masterwork. So it, it wasn't an elder thing. No, but if Lowell maybe wants to make a history yeah. check, and I'll give you advantage because this is personal history. And this was my next question: is is who was it when we were in that place that that I saw an old friend and he saw his prison? You saw someone who reminded us with that laugh. Who was that? And who was also, the who, who taunted you? If you could make me a history check as well. So I uh, will stare at his blade for a moment, and he'll just be like, "There were, there were eight. There were seven blades. <laughs> the eight is a there. <laughs> that's that's the designer guy talking. It's been twenty years. What I've known you, about Opal, I think, All twenty right. years later. There yeah, are probably. eight blades known to our people of the Elder Blades. They are dragons that have survived the the test of time. They are our originators of the world of Amaria, and they were the sanctors to set the veil to, I guess, keep this 
backwater place away from the rest of the orrery. Front water? Yes, of course. Um, each blade has a significant power and some influence over Amaria. This one is the blade of influence. It is the blade of leadership, and it has chosen me to wield it. The blades must choose, but they can... They are not necessarily aligned to the side of good or evil. They choose those whose influence is essential for the era that we live in. Furthermore, the fellow who I may think does not seem to want to die. His name is Trelisle. He is a Lynn Vander bloodline who rejected his cool heritage. And Trelisle studied the spells of continuance, which in, in your term would be immortality, and has vowed to try and destroy our world, which would align with the principles of what this person is doing. However, Bilal went forward in time to a state of the future to find a recipe to smelt metal together in such a way with the power of the dwarves to create this arthritic relic steel, and then use chronomancy to go back in time to an era where technology could not thwart it. That is how they gained the edge. Now that blade supports the veil. What that would do in another world is, I don't know, which is why Adira was so adamant on you not bringing anything back to Eberron. Because she was afraid that if Renic Steel were to enter your domain without ever having any use, you might actually erect your own veil. Mm. What do we have? Era sounds very wise. <laughs> what was the result really for the so history checks? Oh, 24 for me. 18. Okay. So for you, Lowell Holtz, um, thinking back as they've asked more details about the blade, you, you think back to the vision you saw of the individual, the, the armored individual who was the bodyguard or, or sorts of the, 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 ma the magic stealer. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, you get this, this twinge of recognition that you have definitely seen the blade before, and it has clashed with Amber Fang. And uh, it brings up a memory of a fight that did not go well for you. This blade is cosplayed. It either is, or it is very similar. Mm. Which is... Uh, and then for, for, for you, uh, Maple, you do recall that uh, 20 years ago when you arrived here, you weren't the only one. The, 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 the Moonfire Conflagration brought a lot of weird stuff and several people were shunted into Sigil. Um, You're welcome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I've been trapped, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, and so, generally speaking, though, immediately it was very recognized that no one knew what the heck Amaria was or they couldn't even find it. So yeah. you ended up just all kind of splitting out and, and doing your own thing. Um, there was a support group for a while that you were part of, but uh, we just banded. Yeah, eventually everyone just kind of got on with their lives. Right? It's been twenty years, um, but uh, you don't recall any green blades except that one, except the one who showed up, but then was similarly executed because he caused a rather large disturbance. <laughs> hey, as as one would. Yeah, I don't believe the blade in question is uh, known as Am uh, Emerald Fang. It's the green blade. It is in history has taught us that it is the sword of life. Those who wield it have control over life. Okay, but you don't think that's no. Okay, so that's I'm just, as I said. I just wanted to check. I knew you had a whole color code However, thing, and because I wanted this to taste blade the worked more like yeah. Renick. I I do sure. I so do have like some sure. memories that you two were privy to. Remember when we went through the nightmare realm? Mm -hmm. And we all saw parts of our history that we did not mm -hmm. appreciate. <laughs> there was, yes, the Night Parade for you and the Lord of Blades for you. For me, there was this fellow with the sash that sat on this chair and he had, he was uh, verbose. Uh, Adira slew him in the dream. Mm -hmm. He had what was considered the first Rennick blade, the Emperor's blade. It was the first steel that was forged and set in Mariana's course. The blade in the vision that I saw looked very similar. But he's been long since dead. And the last time I met him, I think it was fate that kept me alive. All right, so just, just putting some pieces together here, though. What you said is this feels like it might have been this first Rennick blade. Uh, the figure was armored, like so you couldn't see, like fully armored. Are you talking about the one who actually stole the one who it? actually hold, held the blade? Yes, he was armored and wearing a helmet. Right. So, uh, but 
it's possible this is your emperor, but it seems like that guy has a whole thing going. But you said that uh, Carlisle, whatever his name is, Carlisle. Um, that that he practiced continuance and that he was the one who actually went back in time to bring Rennick into existence. So sounds like a guy who might have a first Rennick blade is all I'm saying. If it's my world that's causing this to all of yours, I'm bastardly sorry. I mean, it sort of yeah. goes that we couldn't even see any flesh on the guy. He could be a spirit in armor or something. I mean, I, it sort of constructs uh, things I that, saw him for yeah. only one moment, but I have a very important question. How do you destroy a blade such as this? Do you? Uh, so a little bit of reference that Loholt would know is that the uh, Emperor's blade was uh, effectively reforged with the Renica crystals taken from the throne of Crystal Felon. Mm. Uh, giving it immense power that has never before been replicatable uh, because that that throne was a one-of-a-kind unique artifact that was then broken down and reused. So uh, it, it is essentially uh, it is the near Elder Fang. Yes, yes. Of, of it is like an artifact. I Most Renic can be sundered with the force of a warrior or um, the hammer of a dwarf. Uh, there are occasions just where... Just any dwarf with any hammer? Well, That's just, uh, uh, I, mean, just, I mean, you know. I'm going to get some of these dwarves of yours. <laughs> it's like a rock shock so yeah, 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 of a fighter. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's what I said. The blade of a fighter. Um, the You could also... Oh, oh, what what you said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also... <laughs> Oh, those are rare. <laughs> there have been occasions where wizards of immense power can overpower the sword. Wizards of the coast, you might say. Perhaps. <laughs> I hope that we'll one day. <laughs> I hope that one day I would have the chance to watch a wizard of the coast right. wield Renick or fight against Renick. <laughs> but you did that. it is a lovely nightmare <laughs> dream. <laughs> All right. So here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. What you were going to say. Oh, I'm just frustrated that uh, Dr. Doofus stopped me from killing this person when I had the chance. So, my thing is that this history lesson stuff is great. Oh, yeah. Uh, I want to go to your primary school. Mm -hmm. um, but also, like, this is important. We're going to need to do this. But I think, like, uh, you know, we should get on to... Uh, we got to yeah. get to Athos. Yeah. We got to, like... Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. We're waiting for the gosh, platters. Also, your food. food. Setting them down. Everybody, she places the, the, the yeah. roast rothe in front of Elmer. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Merrick's, you're given a very plain-looking burger and fries, as well as a... Uh, uh, a weird swirling beverage. Um, they, to at least they also bring you. Um, it's like a like a smoothie. Oh, but it, it has weird prismatic colors Ooh. swirling around in it. Uh, to um, I should have had that. <laughs> to Lowholt, you're giving. A, I got the raw thing. You got well. the raw thing and, and a bioluminescent tart. Oh yes, my brother. I thought yeah. that went in for you. And for David. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> Melf is, is presented with mutton chops and uh, four very pungent flapjacks. Ooh. I'm having like it's on, everybody's having food and me for everybody else to so I'm looking at like Merrick's no, drink right. and like I'm, I'm I got no envy. I got envy right here. <laughs> Uh, you ordered a right. side of envy. May I say say one thing? Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Let us not get lost well, in our speculations. Well, yes. Let us keep in front of us what we've actually seen and experienced now. So we don't go running off down Vecna Lane. <laughs> Or when it is. I I think the <laughs> Yeah, the the, the way yeah. just kind of stops for a second, hey. looks around. Hey, Elminster. <laughs> she runs off. <laughs> I, I think that's exactly the point. Is what we know is that uh, what we know is that vacuum uh, caused this problem before. This could just be someone else trying to do the yeah. same thing. It does not yeah. mean it is. Yeah, uh, it could be a copycat. We we right. have to pay first <laughs> attention to what we actually see and experience, and, not what it might be. And the whole point of what we're doing is if we get the deck of stuff <laughs> then uh heartbreaker here can use it to actually find out what we're dealing with so i mean i'm just saying we're on the path we have a we have a valid goal here if doofus would just get us the damn take it out <laughs> take it back there is a chance that because our worlds have oh all right our worlds have uh, oh yeah 
Our world, huh? Oh, yeah. It is just like, <laughs> rush. Have heroes face. I've worked before. <laughs> Together. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and. How's your, how's your turd ducking? <laughs> this is delicious, Rock. The squail. The squail. <laughs> They have worked together before. Perhaps the Sredic Blade might not be wielded by anyone from my world. It could have been wielded by someone from one of your worlds. But we got that laugh. That laugh sure sounds like your your Carlisle boy. That's just... Yeah, but how do we like know that the, the, the yeah. Carlisle boy didn't go to the burners? <laughs> Trail Trail out. Yeah. <laughs> We'll only find out soon. Oh, no. <laughs> As you are all eating, you will notice that um, Elise Would you like a little eats her food? smoothie in front oh, of her I'm, for I'm, a very I'm long eating. time. And then you got, kind of... You got do you, are you <laughs> anything to eat? I, want it really good. I, I do not... Oh, yes. Yes. Eat that. You've what said that you? so many times. I feel like your ally should know that by that now. Does. What do you eat? Elise? She does begrudgingly take a sip of the smoothie just because she wants the You do get the, 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 the effect. The overwhelming feeling of penance and forgiveness oh, yeah. by, by a business partner. <laughs> I'm hoping that that leaks through to the business partner in some way. I don't know how this works, right? Um, but she drinks it and um, but still eyeing that here in the a corner. Little strawberry. Little strawberry? A little bit of strawberry. There's a little bit of strawberry in the corner. There is, a, there is a flavor in this that I have never experienced before. So you're a friend of you're a friend of Merrick's. Oh yeah. Because you seem out we go to the best of way us. back as as the children say these days. I mean at least twenty five years. Oh it's a long time. Yes. Uh, 25 years, that's like a dank of an eye. Yeah, that's, that's like between rotes. <laughs> yes, he got a little lost and um, while lost helped me out a little bit and then I helped him be unlost. Well, I'll tell I'm you, just saying, I'm a little lost at that. <laughs> you, you, you could say I fixed her broken heart. Oh, 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 wow, I did not realize. It's true. I mean, I'm so clearly not in a manner of speaking. <laughs> no, 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 not yeah. in that manner of speaking. Shall we call all you Elise to Kenneth? No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> Elise out of the cat. <laughs> No. Um, but Sorry, yeah. these guys totally don't understand. It's, we're talking about science here, people. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh! See, I am a scientist. Murder people. somebody spectacularly, you just laugh it off by saying, I'm a scientist. Uh, yeah, that's actually mm -hmm. quite regular. Yeah, I'm very good. And, and then your science um, defiled my I gift to you. Such, uh, um, I, it, has been, it has saved my life many times. Thank you. I'm has just it? Saying, I'm it looks grateful. actually large. It is supposed to look like this. There's two of them? Yeah, well, if you're looking at it through the Arcanic Resonance, it's completely different. It's a long story. Mm -hmm. But, but you know, twinsies... Yeah, no, no, not twinsies. And and then I and then I quickly realize and look up at the vampire in the corner. I go like this. <laughs> yeah, all right. We should we should go. He's just yeah, like go. he's just biting into a rabbit that's just wriggling his. Oh, bunny! Oh, sumo. Yeah. A Is bow, it any bunny? Or somebody. Uh, <laughs> it's love no it. bunny. Oh, oh not anymore. So you know what? <laughs> no bunny is perfect. No bunny is perfect. <laughs> we should pop yeah. one out of here. Yeah, okay, let's pop. We'll play the bell. Will it be uh, separate or? It'll be all together. Hey, we all just do this. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Thanks, Mary. <laughs> there you are, sir. <laughs> Anyway, How much you're, you're, the me, you're the me of this universe. Go pull out a, a, a bunch of jewels. <laughs> chin, 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 chin. <laughs> you know, it, it strikes me that it would be cheaper to just buy the gastronome. See, I didn't bring my my business funds oh. when I came. I was just sort of this is my walking like around way. money. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, next time. Yeah, next time. Like we'll some of your outside. If we investment. stop, if we stop by home. On the, I mean, I'm sure we will on this journey. I'll pick up some investment funds. Does we'll, 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 if we do not succeed, maybe it's a poor business investment because. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. This place is always losing money. Does Merrick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does Merrick have an account with the Bank of Abathor and Single? Probably. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Seems right. There you go then. Yeah. 
I'm having that. Uh, I'm actually having people deal with that right now. We're in the middle of uh, right, right, yeah, By the time we get back from Apple, setting up a branch, we'll right. have something. We'll have something working <laughs> out. Perhaps uh, Gordon has come back with that sigil. Yeah, can we Who get back? Yes. Gordon. We have, I believe uh, his name Dr. is Doctor Doofus. Doctor Doofus. Doctor Doofus. <laughs> Dr. G. Doofus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, there you go. Uh, heading to G- Gordon Doofus. Dr. Doofus, head of Latin area. <laughs> heading out of uh, Gastro, <laughs> you do see uh, Face Fist with his onion. Oh. Oh. Thanks for waiting. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I also brought you a victory fry. Ooh. <laughs> like the uh, that reminds me of my youth. There you go. Enjoy it, Out in the fighting. Tell me. Tell me. I get in the onion. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, and he begins yep, to yep, mark yep. you down towards the the tower. I used to be in the uh, the fighting pits, uh, Sigil. It was, uh, it was a really good gig. A lot of people didn't expect my special technique. Oh, in the in the ring. In yes, the yes, yes, yeah. Right, yeah. defeating them by <laughs> smashing your face against their fist. That's right. Yeah, that's a that's that's innovative. I like you. I like that. I like the right, like ogre skulls are the very thick. Mm. Yeah. And they would break their hands on my nose. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so Like you I said, you handed them. Yeah, Does yeah. anyone else he want to see me? I, I only got it. defeated by somebody who had mastered the cross to foot technique. Uh, I just couldn't seem to beat him. That would what be was a, that guy's name? That would be an <laughs> MMA fight that I would watch. Just endless <laughs> succession. So, so okay. were you the, the crotch or the foot? Yeah, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got mingled. <laughs> it's a short journey to the Planner Energy Cooperative as uh, he once again stops the onion. It's like, pleasure doing business. Uh, Best guy on Sigil, Sigil is all I'm saying. Yeah. Five uh, stars. I'm just saying, once I have a branch here, like we'll get you some permanent work here. I I like your go-to, your spirit. Uh, and he reaches into a little satchel on the side, and he hands out uh, matinee tickets to his fight oh, at the oh, ring tomorrow oh, night. Nice, all right, all right. Stop, you want to have to miss You want to come see me fight? Yeah. Uh, I some good tickets. I put you in the splash zone. Where do we, uh, where do we, where do we put the money on this game? Oh, um... When you when you get there, just uh, tell them I sent you right. that uh, that you're looking for uh, a little bit of uh, of uh, additional entertainment. <laughs> understood, understood. Uh, All right, make take sure care, you of business. Or me. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. Very good. <laughs> yeah, this is just my side gig. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there? Is there any guards outside the planetary uh, energy? There, yeah, you can see that. You can see the ones that were left remaining are okay. beginning to retrace the arcane sigils on the door, and they're beginning to like like mopping up the blood. And stuff. Yeah, that's we, the guy in a car comes, bring out your dead. They suck him up. I forget. Is he face fist or fist face? Face fist. Okay, face first. Remember, yeah. it's technique. <laughs> face nice. Yep. Face nice. Yeah, face nice. Yeah, yeah. Easy way to remember. Um, and so uh, there's blades here. Not anymore. No. Oh, okay, they're cleaned up. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Just let them. I mean, what are you gonna do? It's yeah. the while the, the the body pickup is like once every hour. You gotta wait. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a wonderful day. Hey, I love it here. Flies gotta eat. Too. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, part of the ecosystem. Come on. <laughs> I can, just be, uh, I can just see my bow look for And it's a throw of bodies up on things. Oh, there's something. No, 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 no. <laughs> my side gig. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Maple. Let's go on upstairs. Yeah, the. <laughs> 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 oh, Got some picnic and basket. <laughs> yep. Hey, hey, hey. Want to go to the office? <laughs> Get attacked by some bandits? Lose our medal? I mean, I think you know that there. I'm just saying. That's the key. Forked chrome spires emit like this low hum that yeah, vibrates right. out through the uh through the, the, the 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 ground as the cylindrical tower is kind of isolated from the rest of the market ward as you make your way over um braxton the the elf just gives a a nod and and uh, and wave so oh, uh, maple i see you've uh, met our new friends oh yeah are we are you, are you, well, you, you, you just say 
did save my life. Are you I'm acquainted? Very, that is. I, I, I it's 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 right? associate. We'd like well, to get to the point. We would like the, the relic of returning to Sigo, please. Yes. Um, I, I had just received word from uh, Gordon. They uh, they have arranged for the sigil to be uh, given to you for teleportation uh, access. Um, they just have to finish the paperwork. Oh, so three more days? Time consuming. Well, we put it through rush. Uh, we were able to finagle with the uh, the, the, the hall that rush. it is to do with the roving blackouts. And at this point, pretty much they're willing to do whatever it's going to take. We we threw around Elminster's name a little bit and that it seemed to calm a lot. Throw around the Lady O's name and let's have the side thing in. Yeah, yeah, I said. How long? We'll have it due by morning. Now, if you wish to stay the night here, we have very nice rooms, uh, or I can arrange to have you stay at one of our various uh, lovely establishments. So it's been a little while. Can you do, can you do a thing where you just, you know, like, uh, fast forward us? Oh, inside this guy, sure. Yeah. This is my friend Braxton. Oh, natural. Okay. <laughs> We're an insight of 34. Uh, he does seem to be... Fairly genuine. Bracken mm. doesn't appear to be similar to them like Gordon or D Darvis, where they're a little more like. So this is legit red red rope. Oh, there's so much of that in Sigil. Yeah, it's. Uh, oh, you're you, 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 you kind of remember your your incident with the giant and the large stack yeah, of yeah. tax forms and all that sort of stuff, and you remember the the faded coming after. Mm. There appears to be a lot of uh, a bureaucracy of involved. All right, we'll stay. Let's we'll stay the night. Uh, I would say stay here. I our very presence is guarding the. Oh, agree. Agree. I agree. Um, as you have, the, you, you're having the discussion out in the kind of the front steps of the tower with the Braxton yes. and is and uh, the the general hum of the city has been an ever present sound. But it, as you finish your little discussion, you realize that that hum has stopped and it is utterly silent. As you kind of start to look around, you see several of those dabus similar to fell with the, oh, yeah. the, the mm -hmm. purple f uh, face with the, the horns and the shocks of white hair, long per uh, orange robes sort of floating as a large woman with a stony steel oh, face, yeah. blades protruding out the side of her head, uh, just also floats in her robes next in the center of these dabus, just sort of looking back and forth as everyone gets down and just looks at the floor. And she looks over to look directly at Elminster. I am told again that oh, the the so. How nice. Uh, we don't make eye contact. <laughs> and I don't, don't, don't go down on one knee. She stares at you intently. Everyone else kind of just like, don't look. And then she turns and just continues along the way. But I, wait, we could use your help. Don't get it. She just continues. Yeah. <laughs> I totally got that on sensory stuff. That was a great sign. Do you see what nice mood she was in? Uh, she you? obviously approves of our. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Elminster of Shadowdale. I, I, I have a card here. It should be with Oh, I love Fitness cards. I'm collecting them. Yes, well, I, I shall. I shall. Uh, then I'm, I shall get it for you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Um, who is that though? Like, I'm sure I know. Lady of Pain. She, oh, yeah, she's the one who rules Sigil. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Big deal. Um, we still make eye contact. Lots of deference. Lots of respect. It's that, kind of but like, not worship. Not worship. That's crossing the line. Yeah, that's a very fast way to I, no longer exist. Yep. Yep. So mm -hmm. just, I'm, I'm your eye. I don't worship her. I just. How so, do I you feel? think this was an approval? Oh yes. What? We're still here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I don't care. Let's just do what we need to do. This lady is just yeah. awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm definitely taking notes though, and uh, you know, doing our counter check, and oh just basically on the. Oh, that was really interesting. This is what this is all about. You know, just. Interesting. Very good. Okay. All right. Well, How are you are presented? Uh, some... I'm not saying I'm interested in these loopholes to change the rules of the universe or anything, but I mean, <laughs> it's worth knowing how this works. Of course. The personage we just encountered could be viewed as a rather large loophole. Just saying. Yeah. I don't know. All right, we should not go involved. So we get quarter. So, yeah, so um, seeing as five of the order are dead, uh, there are five empty rooms. So you killed five of the order. 
<laughs> no, no, no. We, we could no. not save. They were dead before. Oh. You did it. Oh, okay, okay. That's yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm so worried. I thought I was making good friends. Carlisle. It was Turducken and the, the, yeah, Carlisle. Turducken and <laughs> Turducken and Carlisle. Oh my God. Name just gets worse. Where's the comic getting made on this one? <laughs> the Adventures of Tur- uh, Carlisle and Turducken. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the minis now. <laughs> but yes, uh, you right. you are offered the five rooms. Uh, two of you will have to share unless you just want to go home. I'll go home. Okay. I'm definitely uh one of you. You know, quick. I mean, I'm not saying passive investigation in 28 or anything, but like, who seems like the best? Who is the most compelling, you know, skilled wizard in uh, in this bunch? Clearly, it's Braxton. He's the elf. Well, I'm saying dead. You know, basically, I'm just saying in these rooms they're offering, do I see one where I'm like, oh, that has things I would like to study tonight, you know? Uh, yeah, you do see uh, one of them has some very interesting contraptions and technology. That's, yeah, so, up. Ibs, that's me. What do I see? Uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, you head into a room and you uh, take a look at this box marked uh, things obtained from the barrier peaks. There you have Again, it. Again, opening that up just a... Ooh. <laughs> some sort of energy projection device. How interesting. Yeah, all right. Um, I'll just go... Tri- I would like to just stay in the orrery and pretty much go into where the orrery is and kind of hang out there and just try... Yeah. To- Look at you, no sleepy. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, uh, you know, that's a very good point. And yeah. Uh, yeah, are you some company. Are you, did you want to look in the room? Or are you gonna- I, will look in, I will look in the room just to see if I... I, I probably want to do some... Private maintenance. Put your face sure. together, like literally, because this part is kind of. I don't want to oh, anything. You notice? Slide oh. a little plaster in there. And then, and then I will come out, and I will keep you company for the night. Okay. I've got to make these rooms that have shelves, chat books. Oh, one of them appeared to be an avid reader. That's the but room. are they all chapbooks about the sordid tales of Elminster? <laughs> no, I want other people's sordid tales. I go, it was a little mistra. That's it. I'm going to stay where there's a window that I can see. <laughs> okay. And I'll lean up against the wall and against the advice of my new friend Maple, I'll sleep in my armor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Leaned up oh, against the wall. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait oh, just oh, remember, oh. don't keep your too close to the window or like sausage vendors are going to no. be like... I'll, I'll speak in a manner that normal. will not give you exhaustion, um, but I'll take some armor off. Uh, so so uh, you can you can knock in exhaustion by sleeping that way. You just wouldn't get back uh, all your hit all your hit dice, which is fine anyway. So Exactly. Yeah. Met a game. <laughs> no. yeah. uh, as you, uh, you kind of settle in, you just your leg just... You get that restless leg, you just got to keep moving, and it's very difficult for you to rest, but eventually it, it does settle down, and you're able to pass into some semblance of sleep. And I'm heading for a long rest. A restless leg. Long rest. Oh, long rest. Exciting. Yep. Uh, but yes, and then, I, uh, Maple, you're going to head back home. Yeah. And, uh, Say hi sure, to my friends. Make sure you've got all the... You're going you're gonna to open the Atlas drawer, just take the huge full <laughs> oh, quilt, yes. and just have it. Anything relevant, I think, yeah, yeah. I'll take it with me. Got some more maps. Uh, Got to make sure I bring my jar of maple uh, and honey. Uh, you know, that's kind of the diet. Say goodbye to the sausage vendor. Um, tell Braxton to take care of my my affairs. You know, just really... Oh my goodness, up. how long do you yeah. think we're going to be gone? Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm also trusting that actually we're now about to have an hour-long fight that is just you against those six tax collectors. I was waiting for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you yell out. We're all sleeping during the tax Or just... Pick up the honey, tell Braxton what to do, murder those six people one by one. Uh, no, okay. <laughs> it's in the small print. Understood. Up to Braxton. <laughs> yeah, there you are. Uh, yeah, you, you get a very nice sleep. Uh, and upon the morning, uh, Gordon, uh, the human wizard, comes in with Farius the pangolin. It's behind him. Oh. Like, uh, we, we have obtained the sigil for you. The red tape seemed to have been hand-waved. Apparently, there was something about the ladies' involvement. Anyway. Oh, okay. You've got a way with the Still lady. got it. He was there. Oh, thank you. I shall... Um... Yeah, don't lose that. <laughs> That's probably the most important thing you have on you right now. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, let us not tarry any longer. Yeah. To the trees. 
Yes, you need to go to Green Gauge. Uh, and I'm going to say probably Maple, you're just like, yeah, you'll meet them there. Yeah. I had a bunch uh, of water, a bunch of mouths. Will you, will you know what Green Gauge is? Oh, it's yeah. a... Um, water. It is one of the... Uh, one of the vegan restaurants in, in Sigil. It does quite well for itself. It. Um, we can I mean, burn it down, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what we're doing. We're going to set it up on fire. So we get I'm an elf. I probably like vegans. Right. right. <laughs> They're good with sauce. <laughs> get your off brand Lendas. Off brand Bernese. So we're going to... So, uh, how do you want to go there? Do you want to just go on foot or do you want to kill your, your guy? Well, uh, we'll have the cab. We'll just we'll just get there. Just, just, just take a cab? You don't want, you don't want your guy? Uh, I'm, He's uh, got to get ready for his flight. He's got to get ready for his flight. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true. I was trying to think if there was anything I could, I could put together to help him out, but nothing really comes to mind. Like that 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 show that well. <laughs> I think it's yeah. all well water. That's cheating. That's yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm all about it. It's fine. I need to do that. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. That's important. Yeah. Uh, not, to, not to help, you know, not again, like, unfair. Advantage. Just a little, you know, How much water can, or something. can we carry on us, technically? Uh, yeah. A water skin carry is half a day's worth. Oh, okay. but we can carry a couple of water skins. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm at like a healthy 350 pounds. I can carry some water. Soaking wet. Yeah. I can just picture us all in front of the gate, just like doing this, because we have to pee. Yeah. We have to oh my gosh. Water. Okay. I mean, it's not, not to me. We'll be but. giving yeah, the boys <laughs> <her> back to <laughs> the There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you uh, you hail a transport and a uh, one of a, a midnight horse with fire coming out of its mane. Just Pulls up, stares at you darkly as you all get on, and then continue it. Oh, it's a nice morning for a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's right to be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> the horse just. <laughs> well, <laughs> heard that a time. I, mean, I never heard that one before. I gotta say, the road to hell uh, is actually like down that alley right there. <laughs> Take a left. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that good in Wow. I am the darkness that sleeps beneath the flames. Oh, so it is that thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I thought I remember that. <laughs> hey, that's it's open. That's the translation. Out of death, then I'm going to post this place. It's always those deaths. Heading down to the clerk's ward, which is just next to the market ward that you were uh, just staying at, uh, you make your way again past the tower sorceress, the large solid mercury building with the incredibly old people in purple robes quietly muttering to themselves as other people make wide berths around them uh past the hall of speakers where you you, you know the very elementary things are done up towards the civic fest hall this large blooming structure similar to like a, a large flower or a frond and then with a huge uh, polyhedral crystal in the center which, which could seem to be acting as windows as you can faintly see things moving around in there uh, and there are jugglers and various performers and poets all scattered around doing various uh, performances. You can see a lot of people throwing coins and various other things. One of them just rips a finger off and throws it in and then they continue on their way. Um, and you reach uh, the Green Gauge, a humble cider shop across from the city. See that hall. just gave him a finger. Uh, there he is. <laughs> there are several gnomes, halflings, oh, really? uh, and various other shorter individuals, um, and you notice I that, yes, uh, vertically. Uh, and then uh, you can see that um, the door is approximately four feet tall, uh, as well as the ceiling and all the other things. And there's a little bit of a, of a small apple orchard growing in the side, and you can see that there are a couple of apple trees that have kind of grown together to form sort of an This looks like the place. Uh, Maple is currently outside. Now, Maple, would you have gotten something at this point? Uh, apples. You can, can get I, apples, no? you can get cider. Both. Uh, can there, I have, like yes. a chunky apple cider? Yes, you can. Cool. I, mean, I got some apple sauce. I'll do it. That's apple sauce, really. You just gotta buy it. Is it you gonna get it in the packet or like in a bowl? No, it's not apple sauce. You can get apple cider with chunks. It's like bubble tea. Yeah, yeah. They kind of have it. Like, like little scoops of of apple. What in the world. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah, but okay, there you go. Apple, Absolutely. Duck. Apple bubble tea. Perfect. Um, is the content everyone's been waiting? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Well, we have to do that. Cider and bubble yeah. Tea. yeah. I'll literally, come on and see and be like. We could make a really good killing. Low whole cross chunky. world franchise. Yeah. Ooh. But yeah, uh, yeah, I set that up last night, actually. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, 
the apple blossom, the little sprite about this big with big butterfly wings just flies out carrying this huge glass and well, just hands it to you. Thank you. You do good work. Well, you know, uh, change menu every day. You always get people coming back. Yep, that's me. Wait for my friends. Having owned a restaurant, that's... That's chaos. Change the menu every day. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. It's what every small restaurant does. They open the refrigerator door and go, what do we got? <laughs> <laughs> Stir fry again. <laughs> uh, but then you do see uh, them all getting out of uh, a wagon pulled by, or an onion shaped wagon pulled by a um, black horse with fire coming out of its, its mane. That's just. <sighs> Premium. So, we're going into a desert. Mm -hmm. a, desert. Creature made of, a creature made of pure water just squelches its way out of there. You can just see apples floating around in its body as it Whoa. moves off down the road. We're supposed to set this on fire. Yep. And then presumably leave in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I think our instructions were to the green great green gate. Orchard boughs and arch light it on fire to open. You got it. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. Yeah, you say put right. all through. Yeah, right. easy. Yep. Okay. So just and we should be yeah. situated with one of us on lookout backwards, but all of us. Oh, I mean, you're surrounded by yeah, yeah, like Sigil. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. An orchard. Just, I just said a little orchard yeah, yeah, yeah. in the middle of the city, yeah. but the rest of us yeah. facing the arch, ready to go through in case it's yeah, yeah. Right. firebolt chirp. Yep. Yep. Oh, sure. Sure. All right, let's go. All right, Ready so as the fireball, uh, fire, fireball, or fireball, bolt, 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 bolt. Yeah, all right, bolt all right. Bolt might be like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, 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 it's Tidy pint size scream as the sprite darts out. Ah! Whoa, guys, just yeah. Yeah, right. I bat the sprite away. Yeah, absolutely, just <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> Gotta help. Okay. I, I'm excited to see a couple of people in uh, in crimson red armor and spikes, just kind of looking over. And as I go to the farms, you're like, I'm I'm waiting for the sound of the sprite landing. Yeah. <laughs> well, just, just for the record, by the way, armor up, you know, I mean, go, yeah, you're going, oh, yeah, you're going yeah. up. Yep. Yeah. Mage armor on. Mage armor on. Yeah. Okay, if everyone could please give me a constitution save. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, so I can have one, two, I can have all of you around me, yeah. so you can so get my plus seven. Cute. Oh, that's... Here, save. That's constitution. Great. Okay. Dirty 20. <laughs> Thank goodness I am allowed to re-roll. 27. Yes, I'm going to re-roll the same. Too. Um, I'm indomitable. I will yeah, re-roll this number, one. Right? Well, yeah, yeah. How much better? Okay. Not great. 25. 24. 29. 27. 17. Ooh. Oh, I got a dirty 20, so. Oh, right. <laughs> and what did Marek's get, sorry? Oh, 25. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 You added my 7 to it. Um, oh. It's the... I thought 7. Plus 7. That was a big deal. You're fine. Uh, so, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank my aura. Thank Good you, aura. Thank you, aura. <laughs> you feel, you feel the, the, the portal's energy swirl around you in a very taxing. You almost have to push my fang. through it. Uh, it's kind of like swimming in molasses. You can feel the energy pushing against you. Uh, who was the first one through, or did you all kind of just bolt at the same Probably time? Probably Melf and I. Yeah, Melf charge, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I was setting the fire, so I'm like, oh, you know, okay. I'm in, in. Yeah, I would charge forward. First. Okay, so we'll say it's like a 10 foot wide, so the two, the two of you could be in there first. So for Elise and Melf, the first thing you notice is the heat, uh, the dryness. The dry heat. The, the, yeah. yeah, yeah. The dry heat. It's a dry heat. Dry heat. The, the feeling of a sun Blaring down on you as if your energy was being sapped out uh, as the, as if moisture from a plant, right? Like it is, you feel like you're evaporating. Uh, it is absurdly hot. Uh, the ground beneath you is dusty, rocky, uh, and um, you kick up a little bit of this sand that swirls around and gets in your lungs. And as you kind of have to cough a little bit, it 
you realize just how dry it is. You, you feel your lips getting cracked and, and chapped, and your hair is beginning to frizz a little bit as it's just utterly, utterly hot. Um, as the rest of you come through, you begin to feel very similar as well. Uh, you're having a really bad time, just <laughs> covered in the fur. Horrible. Yeah, that um, description alone was making me warm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, you can oof. you can feel the sun baking down on your scalp, uh, and you feel you see a little bit of a wind rustle the the the, the sand, and as you kind of reach out for it to caress you, uh, it's as if a furnace is blasting oh. your face, uh, and it just makes things worse. It's as if you have the oven on 450 degrees, and you open it up. It is essentially, it yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all sides of you is the same, just rocks, uh, cracked earth, and sand. In the sky blares a crimson sun three times the size of what you would be used to seeing. Uh, and it, it just seems to go on and on forever in all directions, except for a little bit up ahead, uh, there is a big walled structure of stone, um, and there are some roads that lead into it. So uh, you seem, yeah, you seem, you can see a couple of like little bits of green coming out of the uh, open tops of the wall, and you seem to have stepped out between some twisted branches that have arched them themselves away. Uh, they kind of rustle a little bit in the wind. I'm going, I'm going to wrap a cloth, my take a bandana wrap around my head, and I'm going to press to digitate that every round to chill it. I was going to say, yeah, every round, yeah, you're going to get a nice cool. That, that's immediately, you're like, oh. yeah, right. I'm uh, pulling a chromatic rose out of my uh, backpack to give myself some fire resistance and uh, just heat, uh, heat resistance. Fire resistance? Yeah, more heat resistance, yeah. You immediately feel better. Yeah. I, 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 I put that in my, you know, lapel. I suffer. <laughs> yeah, right there with uh, As you turn I, to I can, look at do, local, I can do this for you. you just feel like I'm uh, like, is it just, no, I don't even shield my eyes. I'm just doing this. You are blinding light. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, I'm probably like. Nobody can look at you. <laughs> I, I will do the same cooling effect on you after watching you, and I'm kind of like watching your behavior, and you notice. Like, you cough, and I look around at it. <clears throat> and, I, and I try to mimic the, the cough. Hmm. And then um, and then when I see you do this, I also press a digitate for you. Thank you. And... This place is worse than the, the deserts of Cambia. Oh. <laughs> So we're here. Oh, oh yes, yes it is. We're here oh, yeah. to get two cards. Let's get them. All right. So I will. Uh, Which direction? Quickly. Oh, the wall. Well, so up ahead you can see Silver Springs. Now you are Silver Spring, but you know that the card is not there. This is just the closest portal that uh, Fell could give you. It was off uh, towards the east, which you would know to lead into the black sands of the table Can you do it? Can you now do a locate? I'm trying to, but nobody will let me get in it. Where did that drive? And I cut my cards, and I and I pull out a card, and I say, "Oh, well, it may be treacherous." <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Oh, cool. Safe travel, Safe travel. Upside travel. travel. It may be treacherous, but I know exactly where to go locate objects. On my card. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is definitely down towards the uh, towards the black sands, but it, it appears to be that there is also um, movement. It is moving. It's with somebody. Oh, somebody oh, did that. What are we looking for? We are looking a for card. a card. Like one of the cards you have? No. Like a business card that I got from? No. It's a, no. It's like, like a what? fundamental force of the universe no. or something. It, it looks very it much like one of these cards. Oh, you it's, were just I, not one of these. It's it's a get out of jail free card. Oh, okay. no. It's kind of a destroy the jail. Yeah, destroy the jail. We don't know which card. Well, no, we do no. know. No, no, we do know which card. That's right. It is That's right. intense. So, okay, okay. Um, and what happens when you get the card? What are you doing with it? She picks it up. She's going to hopefully we pick them all up and make another pack of cards or deck. Right. Okay. We need to find all of the cards. And then, and then save the world. Well, that's what I needed to hear. Okay, that's all I care about. 
Okay, they were doing Sweet. ritual. Vecna showed up. He slapped the hand. Cards everywhere, all over the all over the multiverse, mm. and now we have to go pick them up. Okay, and do you are those some of them that you found? No, these are different cards. I had these cards. Oh. I had these cards. I had those cards. Give me some cards. Would you like to play a card game? Uh, yeah, I sure. don't. I don't really know how, but yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wonderful. Well, you play for a lot of money, and we will play later. Okay, I could play for water. <laughs> I'm a piece of that action. <laughs> so I, while they're doing that, I'm kind of just trying to adjust my sight. The, the and, air is is yeah. I'm looking, I'm trying to look glowing through. and misty eye at the very edges of the horizon. Uh, okay, but give me a perception check. Oof. Um, perception is uh, an eleven. <laughs> really? Is there Perce- perception? Perception. Yes. Would you like performance? Or no. Pleasure? Okay. Yeah. Eleven. Gazing out into the great alluvial sand wastes, you see sand wastes. <laughs> I don't like this place at all. Can we go to this car and get out of here? Yeah, let's go. I am trying, and I feel like just start walking in the direction that I, I feel it pulling towards. towards okay. The way closely. As going away from the way. Oh no. It is. It is moving. If a uh, uh, magic seems to still be working here, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. I mean, that just happened. That worked. We're just acting. It certainly did. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, at least for the moment, then, I am taking out an alchemy jug and, and giving everyone here have some the nice lemonade. Oh, yeah. that, that's no problem. You yeah. know, yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Fifth again, I mean, a little cool drink to... Oh, sorry about that. Oh, um, like, downs it. I... Mm-hmm. Don't drink too fast. I, I just can drink. Oh, well, I then, just then here you don't go. just try it. It's, need it's to. nice. <laughs> Anyhow. I just see no reason not to enjoy ourselves a little. Yeah, it's not too bad here. It's just, you know, <laughs> sweltering and scorching hot. It's fine. Yeah. So, a little puddle coming from behind Maple. Is the... I don't think bears sweat, but I'm going to be you, a sweaty yeah, bear. Hot enough that you are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just as a point, I'm going to fly. Just because you can. It's uh, be in what manner is this? All right. Uh, well, my initial thought was room of flying. Okay. Um, so just pull that, that out. Yeah, just pull that out. Sure. Just to, you know, stay about thirty feet up. But you know, yeah. basically, just like, can I see? Uh, you know, like, oh, it's yeah. Uh, I mean, you're wearing boots, I would imagine. Yeah. So you're yeah. not really feel the. You, you can't feet feel feet the heat emanating. I'm, I'm just saying, have a little air fill going on. When I see this, I'm like, oh, Merrix, I didn't know that you had become a witch. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been, some might say, but how's how's the how's the weather down there? Hot enough for you. Oh, wow. Um, Technically, you are closer to the sun. Yeah, but he's got no I know. Oh, uh, so, what do like, what are, yeah, uh, what are ahead of us? Rock and sand. Rock, Rock and sand. sand. So we just start walking. And there's an oasis over there with some walls around it. But that's um, not where Elise is telling you to go. I don't think we should waste any time finding the Right. Book. Especially since it's moving, it means somebody has it. They could use it for nefarious purposes. I have perception at 21. Okay, so if you're looking out at the great alluvial sand wastes, you can see that way off in the distance, because you're a fair... Well, I, can, up, right? I can go up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you fly way up, and you All can right. see like there's rings of mountains along uh, the very, very edges of the horizon. And on the other side, towards the direction that Elise is telling you to go, you can see that way up ahead, there's some black patches of black sand coming across the, 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 the dunes. But you can also see what appears to be a big ravine and a bridge going across that, that, and when I say ravine, it's not like super, super, super deep. It's only like maybe 10 feet deep that runs across this the cracked terrain, and there's a, a ruined stone bridge that goes across it, and the remnants of what appear to be buildings as they've collapsed and crumbled, and you can see movement moving around there, and there is a gargantuan thing just making its way and moving not flying but crawling across the ground plotting across the ground and it from your distance appears to be some kind of large bones something made of huge skeletons kind of melded and it's this large walking sort of crawling thing that is just meandering its way uh kind of around these ruins you can see a lot of like I said, figures maneuvering themselves around. Was that, was that actually? Yeah, a little bit. Guys, um, what do you see? I'm not saying that it's probably something tied to an artifact level powerful card that can alter reality, but maybe the giant 
Colossus cut me to bones and things uh, down the way. Might be where our card is moving slowly. Mm -hmm. You think it ain't uh, the card? I probably think it started that way, going that way. Is oh, what we're looking for. Jay, what so, is yeah. this thing? Cheyenne and made of bones. I mean, it sounds like something you might uh, you might know from home. Okay, made give me bones. history uh, with advantage. Okay, like I oh, I know we're going to the black sands of the tablelands. You also know you're in the great alluvial sand waste. So yes. by by knowing those things and from that description, you might be able to pinpoint what this is. Uh, twenty three. Okay, then in that case, you know what it is, but you don't know a whole lot of details about it. Okay. You know that it is Slither, the crawling citadel. Hmm. Um. It is uh, held by a defiler named Yarnath, who has his own bandit uh, company. Yarnath? Yarnath. It's a moving citadel. Mm -hmm. Made of bone. And the inside are full of banditry. Is it? it yeah, it's an entire bandit camp on, on mo that is mobile. I mean, I think a couple of three meteor swarms wouldn't take care of. Oh, <laughs> I don't do meteor swarms. The last, deal. The last yeah. thing I'll give you is that uh, Yarnath is a defiler, but a particularly special one because he has found the secret to lichdom. Oh no. Ah. So you know how I have feelings about liches? <laughs> <laughs> and I won't say that one name again. Well... Liches get stitches. I, wait, can, can we stitch bones? This slither, the crawling citadel? Uh, Yarnath is just like a really, really spooky defiler. And can you do like a lot? All right. What? I need help. Hold that, hold that moment there. Yeah. Now, I'm okay with us sort of fast forwarding here, but I am definitely gonna say defiler. Uh -huh. Tell me about that. Yeah, what I don't want to. I don't want to suck up too much time. But can we get let's like, just like the the yeah, you know, yeah. thirty second? What is a defiler? With what is contact that work? No, no check needed for that. That is okay. base at this knowledge. Right. Uh, defiler is effectively just a magic user. Uh, because when you use magic, you drain it from the land, the nature itself. Okay, see, this is the point. No, I got to say, uh, I was desert. This yeah. is very fitting for me. Draining magic, fighting things that, that drain magic from the land is so, very... Right, so, yes, except these are mages doing it. In order for right. them to cast spells, there are two ways to cast spells on Athos. One is the normal way, which is defiling, which is where you draw the magical energy from the land and cast your spell, and it usually can empower it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, the other way is through great pains of oneself and struggle to modify and adjust to not touch the nature around you and thus use your own life energy. Any known individuals who have done that like long term? Violers? Uh, uh, no, pain? Uh, oh, not known. Mm -hmm. It's very uncommon. Yeah. Uh, okay. There are uh, several sorcerer kings who have uh, been defiling for thousands of years. Classic. <laughs> so they're good. <laughs> thus, thus desert world. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, knowing that and and trying to just popped out like a 30-something arcana. I will also just say yeah. the most famous defiler is known only as the dragon. Oh, all right. Uh, I'm just trying to quickly analyze, and I'm willing to spend a first level spell slot to come to this conclusion, essentially what the practical impact of this is on us gentlemen who might be using uh, arcane. arcane magic, like what's going to happen if I try and cast a higher level spell. Drain so I'll, I'll burn a, a first level spell to try and quickly As experiment you with the energy. gather the energy, you immediately just feel scraps of energy within the land around you beckoning to your will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, and Continue casting the spell. Well, basically, again, the point is, I know what she just said, so okay. I'm trying to do this from an analytical... Okay. Like, yeah, testing, I see testing, this yes. has got to be this power you were talking about. And so I am, but, like, I'm not just trying to cast the spell. I'm sort of got trying it. to be like, okay, and where, where how is that? I'm and then, slowly so, so you, sort of experimenting. You can feel that the energy, the immediate energy available to you is in the ground and the air around you. Mm -hmm. You can also, as you are in the process of casting the spell and you turn to kind of look over at your companions, you can see the mana running through right. them. And like it, right there for you to take. All right, but I'm definitely not doing that. That's and, right. So, so my, my and, point and, is... That's, yeah, and, you, and you pull back. Do you want it, to finish casting quickly. the spell and... No, so quickly, I'm just saying, I'm sort of experimenting experimenting so it's like okay right we got this theme can see that ooh, tasty okay but you know um then i'm like okay but what you mentioned can i can so i see that energy in you me you look inward and you see as you can see the man in your companions you of course right. can see the magic in yourself so and gonna, you feel like you could draw on your own life essence. So I'm going to finish casting the spell, which is, by the way, Cure okay. Wounds. 
Um, but I'm gonna burn my own energy and then cast it on cast myself. Cast first level? Yes. You lose one hit die. And, uh, okay. Mm. Oh. Um, well, as I say, this, this is, this is for science. So, yeah. I mean, I'm quickly, again, we don't need to go through we this whole conversation. We can assume it happens. Sure. But I'm gonna have this discussion with you, you two and just basically say, hey. What does it look like as you kind of draw your own life force out? So I, now, I think, well, so the thing is, I'm armored up. Uh, so okay. I think part of the point is you don't like if I wasn't armored up you would be seeing me go you know sort of wince and then color flight. Since I'm armored up you don't really see, you you see my body language is weird, yeah. but it's not like you're seeing uh, you know the the full full effect there. But I'm definitely be saying like okay it appears uh, there is magic around here, but uh, you know I mean environmental. I know there's no regulatory agents, but this place is messed up enough. Like, I'm not really sure mm -hmm. we want to go down that path. You all look very tasty, but again, definitely not going that path. Uh, but I'm just saying, yes, be aware, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> I see. I don't think it's, might, it might not affect you, uh, Divine you know, with your stuff. It'll yeah. depend on which spell you're casting. Yeah. See, some of your so what is it? Is it if we are our own receptacles of magic. There's no ley lines to tap into or any exterior yeah, a entity. little bit but it seems like yeah, it's, it's been drained in your own ley line situation it's literally just the life energy of the world i mean i don't know about you i mean but wonder, yeah i wonder how chrono mass super park here mm -hmm. badly <laughs> because it's not mana that we use uh, on the man it's a, time it's a construct manipulation so i wonder if I'll try it. So as we're pro progressing forward, I'll just pick someone. I'll I'll pick uh, Melf, and I will. But I'm gonna grab him. What if you accidentally age him dramatically? No, 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 no. I'm just as he's walking. I'm just gonna chrono shift, which I'm gonna make okay. like basically reverse tense. There is this <laughs> tenseness. You, you, your veins gonna bulge out, and again you hear a voice. Oh, what a waste of this energy! And you hear Crimeris curse at you but Mel walks 10 feet like but it does it feet. does happen sorry oh test my abilities oh so Mel, yeah Mel, you're just walking and all of a sudden you are i feel like i've been here before no i'm trying to be all over at the village makes Cremaris cry i know i thought i'd use a lot of corona massy okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. only using the small stuff right now. So, just wanted us, before we get into a tactical situation, to have some understanding uh, that there's a thing going on, but we've got a bandit camp that's moving around that has our card. And, uh, I mean, what are we going to be able to if we need to kind of ask this the question? Uh, yeah, I mean, apparently so. Yeah. I just think we got to be a little cautious about how we're using it. Yeah, or you can continue you to just run away. You can just locate objects with no problem. I, I think did. you're drawing on different energy source. Hmm. So it's just arcane energy sources. Exactly. I mean, if I had to, I, I'm guessing yeah. primal and divine magic draws on different forces. So you're probably yeah. good. You too, when you do a glowy thing. Uh, Here's princess. the thing. I, uh, I believe that Maple has educated us with Athos being a place where metal and water are the bartering chips. Yep. Negotiating with them while looking like this will not be good. Oh, you're wearing so much metal. Oh, Not you, but like... Well, <laughs> why two of them especially? <laughs> we will not be able to... Right. Okay, like, why don't we um, close as water traders? Hmm. With our armored bodyguards, don't mess with that. Actually, but, that's not a bad point. So, you, here. you might be able to get it by simply using your flask of water and filling up the reserves. Oh, I definitely could do that. But also, uh, take this. Uh, you take something off his neck. It's a uh, uh, torque of disguise, so it's disguise self. So, oh. uh, just so you don't have to take your armor off. All right, just I'll uh, use it. I make myself look like. Uh, um, but yeah, I got I got a decanter of endless water right here. I mean, I also have a, gore, a skirt of gourds. And water. besides which, you're carrying. Yeah, I mean, so much water. Water. so much water. <laughs> it's a shame not to use. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. I never heard of the skirt of gourds. That's a new magic item. Oh, yeah. <laughs> endless water. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, this is interesting. I mean, I'm happy to have sort of influence so, here, do some talking if uh, if we think that'll work. I think right. casting a cantrip. Do I feel bad when I cast the cantrip? You you definitely feel that same similar um, energy, um, but it is such minor magic that uh, you didn't even really realize. Like you're not, it's not doing enough damage to the surrounding area. Now you feel like if you stood in one place and continually uh, did it, it would eventually work. So am I sucking the energy out of like insects or something, and it's powering? Yeah, like maybe like a, a, little, a little beetle comes up to. 
Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's so minor, it's barely inconsequential. And even if you were to do it inwards, it's more like just like some skin cells coming off your, your arm. So okay. Okay. I'll use the torque and cast the sky, this guy's self. Does the item have any effect? No. Well, okay, so item items items are imbued with magic too. All right. So I will I will use the torque and disguise myself to look like I'm basically a squire to these guys. No, I can't do that. Some sort of <laughs> some sort of regal robed finger. If I'm gonna do the negotiation, I better not look like the the water boy. I will I will, uh, I will make myself look like I look like some some sort of like uh, regal. Uh, like person who these are my loyal subjects and that I, I mean, will flow by. I, I hope well, you'll still say. I assume well, my you know is. you can you can give oh, some pointers like yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah 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 yeah. Don't go for king or regal. Mm-hmm. Go for merchant lord. Oh, we're gonna be meeting a defiler. So you have this little montage where the hats are changing. So yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Like, I got like, mm-hmm. I got this long mm-hmm. little and I'm like a crown like, for a second and then she's like nope so it disappears hey. and then like and then. Uh, All right. Yeah. Here's, I have a question. Yeah. But I don't want to interrupt your your flashes of genius. Oh, it's, it's very quick, so I'm just going to say, I'm going to give you, because it doesn't require attunement, the decanter of endless water. Thank you. And so just saying, here, you are now a start amazing drink. water merchant. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, that's an art of drink. Let's start a war here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I know that. <laughs> yeah, you, you must not let them see you pour. Yeah, exactly. I'm drinking, and the water's like dripping down. <laughs> All right. Uh, be good. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. If this is a roving bandit camp, as Citadel, uh, they told us, grand, um, we must be ready for any sort of jump. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's massive. It's not. We're not going to know. At least you. Who yeah. are who are the the bandits? I don't know. The friends of the Defiler. They like hired by the Defiler. You said the word lich. So Yarnath. I, Yarnath. Yarnath. Yeah. Uh, are they also like uh, what type of creatures are these bandits? They would be likely your standard humanoids um the the only exceptions to that might be you're, you're more likely to see uh, half giants mm-hmm. uh moles which are effectively half dwarves okay. which are actually basically just incredibly buff human people um, little beefcakes yeah or or thrykreen formed insectoids uh, you can also expect a lot of psionics. Since magic tends to not. Uh, uh, yeah. Now this, now this citadel, it's made of bones. It's moving. Yeah. Better, is better. it moving because it is alive? Or I'm sorry, not alive. It's made not dead. <laughs> not dead. Yeah, I've never really had to think about that. Nobody wants to go Who here. Could possibly think about it. Let me look at my books. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, I mean, lich. Uh, yeah. It's a it's citadel. Giving. It's it's animated. It, it's likely going to have you know your your. Sta- it, it is literally a citadel. Okay. It, it, a question it, it, from not Elise. <laughs> is this thing? Is it an undead? Is it a creature? Can it be turned? It is not a creature. It is just. It is effectively it's a construct. Animated, it's, it's a giant, <laughs> moving animated fortress. Yeah, citadel. That's made out of bones, because. There aren't many gargantuan building materials on Athos <laughs> aside from bones <laughs> of big creatures. Okay, so not an undead creature walking around, not a giant undead or gang- gargantuan undead creature walking around, no. carrying around bandits. Okay. Well, shall we? That messes up. <laughs> yeah, <now. my> <laughs> I will, uh, let's go will, storm the citadel. Yes, let's go storm the citadel. Yeah, oh, okay. So we, <laughs> we will make our way very plainly to get the attention. There's no worth hide. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Clearly. Why don't you just fly in the upper window and take the cart? I mean, there's enemy I mean, anywhere. I'm just saying, it's not like uh, I can't cast... Okay, wait, it's wait, gonna wait. be two hit dice, but... Wait, wait. Uh, yeah. Before you do, before you snap the finger. Too late, I snap. But I didn't have to spell yet. Lich, it's, it's just worth it. Effect. just means he's yeah. inevitable. We are regal enough in our abilities and skills to have fought some of the greatest villainy of our worlds. Mm-hmm. Do Lich mm-hmm. not have the ability to see truthfully? Probably. 
but are we doing this immediately, immediately speaking, speaking? Presumably, we're not immediately just walking up and speaking to the lich. Like, I assume he's not going to answer the door. Not normally. Even if this window. guy saw the right. evil, he would be in the middle of the belly if, of the beast before yeah. the fun started. It will fool the bandits that are going to try to That's what we're saying, is if we're if we're face to face with a lich, I think that's when the meteor swarms start happening. Yeah, I don't think you're going to convince the lich that you're humble. Yeah, but we'll get in. But what I will say is, uh, I I will, and I'm willing to spend a couple more hit dice because oh my god, I have a bunch of hit dice. <laughs> that was funny. funny. Oh. Um, <laughs> I would like to cast invisibility. Okay, and you do <laughs> pull out two more hit dice. Yep. Um, and so I'm just, I'm letting you guys know. You know, I'll just be yes. flying above you, but I don't want to draw attention. But I'll at least be uh, um, flying invisibly, and I will since I'm doing that. Put my armor back up. So. Okay. Oh, here. Like the sure will. Uh, Merrick's is wonder will load his ever yes. smoking <laughs> pipe, ignite it, thick greenish smoke, and fly it at the citadel. So we're now completely enveloped in a ring of or an hemisphere of opaque greenish billowing smoke. <laughs> we so can see the each other. Oh, that's that's really yeah. 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 Well, no one was actually landed. thinking that I would use the smoke to waft up sand. So sandstorm is coming across. Uh-huh. Oh, so you make it look like a sandstorm. Yeah. Oh. Ah. The Citadel. But you're using biological aromancy. <laughs> <laughs> Big fart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the uh, sandstorm is just to watch, get them to. Yeah. What, what, what is your What is your goal with the sandstorm? Just to kind of make it so they're they're going to go take cover more so. No, I'm I'm. We it's can walk your inside the hemisphere. Yeah, yeah. Just stroll okay. on Straight the sand. Concealment so they don't know that it's you. Yeah. So you got it. Okay. Um, yeah, as you approach closer and closer across the desert, um, I, I think I'd say that that would give you a little bit of protection from the sun, especially if it's opaque. Mm-hmm. So all of a sudden, just this shade oh. stands down. And it's still very hot. But without the sun directly beating down on yeah. you, it is significantly improved. It's 10 degrees less. So nice. Yeah, probably 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, only. <laughs> only 90. That, so, oh, yeah, protection from air. It was 100, 130 90 degrees, degrees when I was in Iraq one time. Nice. 130. It's illegal. It was awful. Done, that is illegal. Yeah. So we approach. So you approach. Uh, now you can see out of it, you said. Yes. Okay. So you approach and you get closer to these ruins. You can see the bridge cresting over what at one point, now that you can see it clearly, was definitely a river like a thousand years ago, maybe. Um, as there's this crumbling stone bridge leading to this crumbling stone village. And you can see uh, several folk kind of peering out with their little uh, slitted uh, goggles and wraps around their heads as they peer up and they can see this tiny little sandstorm. <laughs> <laughs> And they're all kind of like making gestures and one of them just kind of with the flip of their hand, just a big rock comes off and then sets down right in front of them as they uh, position themselves next to it. You see if you rock can like get to Rock like flying bird or rock like chunk of stone? Like, like chunk of stone. Oh, oh, oh I thought bird. <laughs> <stone. laughs> and the, the large uh, thing, now you can see the, the crawling citadel of Slither. It is crafted of gargantuan skeletons of about seven, and you recognize the creature as millicots. Uh, little, Millicots. they kind of look like, you know those little, those little, little bugs? Yeah, but then you touch them and they like it. Really pull your oh, yeah. Imagine gargantuan those, but lizards. Uh, and it's just seven of those and then strung together with spines and other kind of pieces of, 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 uh, of bone. Um, and you can see large baliste set up on various turrets and people walking back and forth holding uh, bows and kind of peering around. And um, it's this huge ordeal, but there appears to be active uh, looting or something going on at this this ruined site. You can see that there are some corpses laying about. Uh, there's a there's a, a large insectoid creature uh, with four arms displayed across the ground. It's weird, like greenish blue blood kind of pooling around, and several other humongous people, eight foot tall, like four foot wide, muscular beings that are just. Uh, just completely knocked out, cleaved in half, like decapitated limbs flying around. 
Uh, and you can see parts of the stone it seems to be recently have been demolished. It's not covered in sand and mm-hmm. and uh, been mired. It's a, the very fresh chunks that have been missing. It seems like they've been the, in the middle of some kind of skirmish. Huh, it's a lovely place. <laughs> and as as you uh, get closer to the stones, wherever where all of these beings have started to kind of position themselves and ready, uh, what would you like to do? Sanctuary. <laughs> That's a paladin spell. Yep. So you're fine. Okay. <laughs> And then, with the disguise self would be maintained. Would I have to keep? Can I? Can I? Oh, sanctuary is not not concentration. So sanctuary disguise self. I'll emerge. I'll emerge from the uh, uh, the sands. Uh, several rocks just <laughs> rise up and just kind of hover. You got my back, right? A few feet away from you. So as uh, several folk peer out at you from behind their stones. Hello. Take a drink of water. I am a roving merchant. That I am here to uh, negotiate with you and uh, for something that I'm familiar with of your leader in your home. I didn't insult, being too polite. You scallywags. I've never heard you use such language. <laughs> oh, you naughty boy. Go wash your mouth. That is Amarian's ass. Okay, so. <laughs> uh, there's a pause. You hear some mumbling. Um, I'm assuming the swirling sand is still right behind you. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, for reason you're not dead. Uh, so, <laughs> a uh, insectoid creature will emerge. It is dr- decked out in uh, reinforced carapace and bone and leathers and hides, and it's got huge scars all across okay. one of its face and a, and a, a leather patch, and it is wielding a big uh, spear uh, crafted from the spine with sharpened obsidian at the end of it. And it peers out at you. The West <laughs> Negotiate selling your goods. Yes, and if you think that I am not formidable and you try to steal what I have, you will find yourself like that one. And I point to the one that's all cut up on the ground. The many. Rather what? quickly. You rep scallion. You beetle. <laughs> I'll intimidate. Okay. That is a 22. You see it lean over. Is that one of your jokes? It's joking. I think he's actually just an idiot. Very good. Yeah, you may enter our kingdom with all of your goods and we will negotiate. Fair enough. Oh, me and the same. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stage whisper to him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's a trap. <laughs> and, 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 of course. <laughs> yes, but bring all yeah. your merch yeah. goods yeah. to yeah. the of our establishment. Well, yes, I'll back and be like, I know, but I believe you'll enjoy what comes next. <laughs> and I'll walk my way toward toward them. And uh, several floating s- rocks follow you as you come in. Okay, are we entering Slither? Or? No, you're entering the ruins. Okay, the stone ruins. So basically, Slither is, but you can see it positioned right it's off the side. It's still kind of moving around the ruins. So I can still basically still be flying. Is yes, that's fine. So I'm going to try and intimidate them one more time, and here's how I'm going to do it. The little stones are near me, right? Mm-hmm. Like the rocks, right? Mm-hmm. I'm just going to reach up and touch one. And let's reversal it back to where it belongs. <laughs> there, there is a bit of a like a. So you, it's literally like going to go creature? build itself back. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Oh, there are creatures. So so. No, no, no. no the rock. The rock is there. Is okay. just a stone. No, no, no. Yeah. Um. You hear some whispering amongst themselves, and I would say, uh, those of you with with precision hearing, I think Melf is pretty decent. <laughs> You hear the word uh, defiler, mm. and uh, the creaking of things being drawn from slats and, and armor being adjusted, and movement on the sand just off to the side beyond where you can see. Okay. Uh, how close do we feel like they're here? The stealer. Do we feel like they're pretty close? So 
at close to the center or whatever they're getting taken. Uh, yeah. So if you, yeah, as you begin to make it into the center, Melf, you also, as you're, because you're ready, you're ready to, to jump. Yeah. Uh, you can you can hear that the people maneuvering, they're enclosing around. I, I have the alert to see, just to let you know. Well, yeah. you, you knew this was going to happen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just say for like mechanics. I'll, I'll just go into my plates on right away then, pretty much, once they start moving in, just so I. Yeah. Uh, and then I think I would say at that point they are ready to lunge, which is when you, you which you know they're about to do thanks to your alertness feet. Yeah. And so you are not surprised. And there was no, no. no way in hell Melf is surprised. So so I so at the moment I know they're going to lunge. So suspend. Okay. So you just suddenly see uh you guys will see this because I'm targeting them. Um, the glass will shatter. Um, they, 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 it's almost like the fog that you're in is now covered in this globe of, of translucent glass and a cog of time bursts and carves its way through the sand at like lightning speed and everything is completely frozen except for our minds. And we have one minute of conversation as I use the power to suspend. And as I suspend, I go, Merrick's, don't waste this time. Okay, I just thought it would be interesting to consider the the whole yeah, economics of the situation that we're dealing with. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This might be new to some of you, but you're currently frozen in time specifically to have for me to let you know that they are about to spray an ambush on us. What? Oh. You don't shout it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 like, of the obvious. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty. Uh, I'm pretty proud of myself for figuring this one out, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. But I'm letting you know that oh, guys, obvious. there are. Uh, there are other reasons why this is very important, is so that way you do not um, uh, stay flat-footed, per se. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but if we still have 20, 30 seconds here, I'd really like to talk about the fashion choices here, and I really think that there's some possibility... <laughs> no, no, go on! We've got... Oh, okay. Wait, back. No, no. <laughs> so, you know, I think that... that they don't really seem very well, like this, this prestige station. Mm, now it. we're running out of time. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you see, you could have spent all this time, Lovold, striding through the Citadel, finding the Lich and beginning to break finger bones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but with that, I'm stopping. Well, we will be rolling. I've got time right here. Yes, you. Yeah. <laughs> so we have an announcement. We will be rolling initiative. Yeah.